Paragraph 12, settlement and other expenses. What goes here? This is if the buyer is asking the seller to cover any of their closing costs or prepaids to get into the property. Okay, so like what? So like for instance, it could be discount points. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, any closing costs. It could be the escrow fees. It could be anything pertaining to the actual closing that's listed on. Could it be an inspection? It could be an inspection. Don't recommend it. Don't ever recommend a seller buying an inspection. <laughs> Uh, but it could be, it could be, it could be credited at closing for that <clears throat> reason. What I will tell you is that the best way to find out how much needs to go in here is to ask the buyer's lender, because if you put six thousand dollars in here and there's only fifty five hundred that's needed at closing, the seller gets to keep that other five hundred, and guess what? The buyer's going to want it. Yeah. So make sure that you get this amount from the lender and that the buyer understands that that is the amount given by the lender. Same thing with when we talked about the home service uh, contract Correct. at the top. If you've allotted for $650 and it's only a $600 contract, it's not just $50 more for the buyer, It's that $50 just stays with the seller. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you're gonna find that contract, max it out with as much coverage as you can possibly get. Um, uh, the next page of the contract goes into more detail on uh, uh, the um, closing fees. Uh, appraisal fee, loan application fees, exactly. credit report, anything that they can um, pay and it'll all depend on what the lender will allow. Correct. And you got to keep in mind that if you're dealing with a government backed loan, some things are going to be different. Not everything is going to be covered in the same way that is uh, and they're going to have different uh, requirements there.